Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Yes, yes, I know, I cut my hair. So today we're finally gonna be talking about the Lunar New Year collection from Victoria's Secret, which is an online exclusive. We love that because we can't smell it first. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I ordered these forever ago and then my package got lost along with like four other packages that I've ordered like not just from Victoria's Secret but in general packages have been getting lost left and right on Mercari everywhere like shipping will just stop updating these were out for delivery and then a week later and nothing had changed so yeah they refunded me and I rebought them again so they are finally here the packaging is gorgeous. I've heard a lot of people say they really love these. So I was really excited. But I will say I don't know how I feel about these. So this is Blissful Garden. The packaging, again, it's beautiful. It has this like butterfly flower. It's almost like magical looking. Um, this is Frosted Black Currant Vanilla Orchid Balsam Fur. So. I love black currant, um, especially frosted, just makes it a little fresher usually. Vanilla orchid, that concerns me. For some reason, adding creaminess to a floral or a fruity note can sometimes be a little nauseating for me, but balsam, I love. So I thought this one would be my favorite. And I do like it. This is basically a vanilla fruit punch scent almost when you first spray it I got this really intense fruitiness that almost reminded me of like a fruity punch definitely black currant it's definitely very very fruity and you get this intense vanilla and together it almost smells like candy but in like a perfumey way I will say the fruitiness of this is beautiful it really does just smell like Intense black currant fruitiness beautiful then as it settles it gets more vanilla more creamy and Then you get this like slight heavier like deeper kind of note that makes it more perfumey. I guess I Don't really get that intense of a balsam scent. I mostly just get that black currant and the like vanilla kind of scent It smells like candy in the cap and on the dry down it does smell a little candy like but it's not my favorite because of that vanilla, but for those of you that like a creamy fruity scent and you like something a little more perfumey, I think you will be obsessed with this. So black currant is a little bit of a deeper fruit, so you get this kind of deepness, this beautiful fruit punchy kind of really intense black currant, and it's beautiful. You add that vanilla, some people will love it, some people won't. For me, that vanilla ruins it for me. I just don't like those creamy notes. Um, they're nauseating to me. I either want something super fruity or I want something creamy. You start giving me like fruit and cream kind of vibes. It has to be done like a cookie way, not like a perfumey way, you know? But I like it. I think if you're on the fence and you know you like creamy fruity notes, then you will probably like this. If you like black currant, you will probably like this. I'm just not that big into that vanilla orchid. All right, so this next one I actually thought would be my favorite, um, but it's my least favorite. This is Royal Forest. Again, packaging is beautiful. It's like a neon fairy tale. They're gorgeous, but this is Sheer Rose White Grapefruit Luminous Woods. Woozy fragrances, again, not usually my thing. Rose, not really my thing, but grapefruit I love. And you put grapefruit into anything, and it usually kind of does what it needs to do to the fragrance where you smell a lot of that grapefruit and even if you have woodsiness, even if you have rose, if you, even if you have florals that you don't like, it's still usually something you'll like, but this, you guys, on initial spray, you do get that like, like a fruity grapefruit, but it is powdery. This is very powdery. You get that rose, you get those woods, and it is very, from initial spray to end, especially when it dries down, like I just get this really intense baby powder smell. It's almost like when it dries down, turns into a baby powder rose cologne. The grapefruit does sweeten it a little bit, but I mostly just get this like baby powder cologne smell. I don't know, there was this one from Victoria's Secret that people loved during the win winter time of last year or two years ago, I can't remember. Um, that one smelled like baby powder to me, but a lot of people really loved it. 
So maybe this is just like a me thing, but I just get rose and baby powder, which rose can already be a little bit of a mature scent sometimes. You add that baby powder and it's just kind of like you walked into like and smelled someone's old furniture where they had perfume on it. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the powdery rose scent. It's a little cologne-y. It's not my favorite, definitely not for me, but the blue packaging is incredible. If you like more kind of unisex scents and you like that kind of crisp baby powder fresh scent, you might like this. I get more baby powder than rose in this. The rose is strong, but it's like not overpowering necessarily. It's when it turns powdery where it gets kind of like, yikes. Let me know if you've smelled this and if you get this like baby powder smell. All right, you guys, the last one in this collection is Heavenly Fruit. This has this cool tiger, it's green. This is Peach Blossom Magnolia Petals White Sandalwood. Now when I read this, I automatically thought like, Victoria's Secret has come out with a lot of like, peach and woodsy scent. Like peach and woods is every flanker of love spell ever. Like that's usually how it goes. So I thought this would be something that I've definitely smelled before. Initial spray, I really like this. This is a very fruity peach. You get those florals, you get that sandalwood, but it's not too heavy. I feel like the sandalwood always comes out more on the dry down. And this is a really pleasant scent. I think this is the best one out of all of them for me personally. However, I definitely feel like this is a smell I've smelled before. Like that peachy sandalwood and slightly floral scent, like I've smelled it before specifically from Victoria's Secret, but it is really pretty. I think if you're going to get one and you like the sound of the notes, then this would be it. It's nice. I will say, despite how nice this is, if you've been watching my videos, you know I try not to keep anything that I won't reach for or won't be like looking at it like, yes, I cannot wait to wear that. And despite this being really nice and the packaging being gorgeous, it's just not it for me. Now I will say these are super unique and fun, minus this one. I don't think this one's that unique, but they're fun, they're interesting, the packaging is gorgeous. If you're into kind of more cologne or perfumey or deeper, fun, interesting scents, then I say go for it. Now if you watch my videos because you like the same exact kind of scents as me and you wanna take my specific recommendation, I will say, you can pass on it. But if you're watching this just to know a general review, I say they're fun, they're unique. If you like what I described, then I think you'll definitely like these. They're just not my cup of tea, so. Being an online exclusive, and if you don't know if you can return them, I'd say it's not a completely safe blind buy. I'll put it that way. But if you're willing to keep something just for the packaging, then it's always a safe blind buy. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry if you really like these and I didn't. I know a lot of people did like them, but they're just not for me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.